what is up YouTube my name is Brickman 609 and today guys I've got a really really nice review and uh, kind of a how-to for you guys so you guys play Minecraft I'm sure you all do a lot of my fans do play Minecraft and a lot of Lego users play Minecraft now today I'm gonna be giving you guys kind of an easier way if you're gonna host your own Minecraft server I know I am going to guys it's probably gonna have about 15 slots maybe um, because I'll be host eh, hosting it myself on an old laptop that doesn't even the company doesn't even exist anymore. So I'll be hosting it on an old laptop. Right now, that laptop has about 512 megabytes of RAM. Now, not a lot. Now I want to look into some things because I might be able to upgrade it depending on how much it will support. They probably don't even make the type. I think it's like DDR1 RAM, which is really old. So, basically, guys, let's say you don't want to do the thing where you have to put in, like, the stuff in Notepad and everything. Um, you can actually... Sorry about that, guys. You can actually download this thing that Bucket... Uh, one of the Bucket developers made called... It's called... Iridium Server Manager. You download it, and it's it's based off the of the Windows 8 API, as you guys can see here. You get the really nice Windows 8 API, and it's basically a like a whole program that allows you to host. So here we've got our console. I can start it, reload it, save it, and clear the console, edit the properties. Um, but I have to run the properties. Or I have to run the servers first. Um, so yeah, um, sometimes you'll get errors like that, and uh, set parameters like the Java path, um, initial memory, like how much you want for it. Um, I haven't set all that up yet, but you can go into Download Craft Bucket, and also enter your Minecraft username. I want to type Brickman six one nine. Watch this. It'll actually show your face. So watch, I can put in. I don't think I spelled that right, but nope, I did not. Um, it basically retrieves it from a web server. So, um, so I could put it in any. Okay. Um, let's try this. You see. I can put in any username. That's a really cool feature. But I'm going to use my username. Um, we can go to information. It's got all of our computer's information, um, which is really nice. Um, plugins manager. We can search for plugins. Go to the installed plugins. And I'm actually kind of mad right now, guys. Um, that actually kind of makes me... Uh, wait one second, guys. Um delete this delete this I did this wrong guys you actually want to create a new folder I forgot about that so that makes me kinda of mad because I downloaded like everything yesterday and actually um, I'm gonna send to desktop um, I kinda of forgot to do that guys but yeah reason you want to put it in a new folder is because it actually generates files inside of that folder so I'm just gonna move that like up to there um so like I said guys Windows 8 API I'm probably gonna be working with the developer on this program um, I contacted them asking if they'd like any help with it or if I could help them um, so actually um, I do not want to start it because I need to download craft bucket I want to go to download craft bucket I want to do the stable build and it will download craft bucket for you guys which is really cool um... by the way guys a lot of you have been wondering um... why my username is brickman and download successful why my username is brickman 69 the reason my username is brickman 69 and do not say oh you must like wwe because Ravis Deer is 619 no i actually don't watch wwe um, here are two things that I'd like to tell you guys right now. One, 
Um, I the, came up with Brickman 69 because I knew a lot of people on YouTube, like Brick Boys 518 had Brick Boys. Well, I'm a man, so um, uh, I started Brick Man, which has to do with Legos. Um, so Brick Man, and then 619, um, I got from two reasons. One, if I add one to each of the five in the to the five and the eight in Brick Boys 518, it gets 619. Also, I kind of just thought of a number. I was like thinking of numbers, and for whatever reason, 619 popped in my head. So as we see, the server started. Um, sometimes it'll say like can't keep up and all that. Um, you can press clear console, which will do this. Um, I can type like stop in, in this, or I can do it over here. But if I execute, you see it'll stop it. I can go uh, edit server properties. We've got all of our properties that pop up in this window right here. Um, so like bm 619 mc server. Uh, oh no, dang it. Edit entry. So as we see it says bm 619 mc server. Um, you can set a texture pack, which is really cool, guys. Um, you can also open the actual server properties file. So let's say you don't want to use this like API. Um, you can use this, and I actually kind of prefer this, guys. I'm really used to using this type of, you know, this this type of uh, UI. Um, if we go back into this folder I created before the MC server folder. You see, it generated all of our normal things. It's just basically an upgraded version of our bat file. And I can actually run the batch file. Oh, so, yeah. I'm just going to close that. Um, plugins. Um, there's actually a whole plugins manager built into this. Um, I'm actually going to... Oh, never mind. Um, you guys also, by the way, will be able to download this from the link in the description. So, um, I want admin cmd, press the search button, and I can press install admin cmd. Admin cmd is installed. Um, install. Um, recommended is coming soon, guys. Um, and it also has, like, the, um, see, like, if I type in a letter, like, E or, actually, I want to type in F, so I can get factions. And you can't press enter, guys. You actually have to press the um, little search icon, which is okay. And we can go um, installed plugins. So, yeah, guys, um, it's a really, really nice program. Um, I actually prefer this over the normal, like, you know, the normal command prompt because two reasons. One, all I have to do is go over here and it downloads Craft Bucket and it it makes the script for me and everything. I don't even have to go into Notepad and type all that stuff, which is really nice. I mean, if I could, you know, I I just think this is a brilliant program, guys. I really think you should download it. I also think you should um, support the developer by donating to him. Um, I'm just gonna open this up real quick and um, go to bucket.org. And if you go to bucket.org, it should pop up on the side. That's when it. That's where it popped up for me. Um, but I want to actually search iridium. Um. So here it is, guys. This link will be in the description to the um. The link will be in the description from before the, uh, the, what you call it. This is this guy's thing. Um, he's actually made, um, a plugin, Teleport Plus. Um, 
But yeah, guys, so um, the link to their actual website, iridiumpowered.webs.com, will be in the description. Um, a very nice website, I must say, too, guys. This is a very nice website for a subdomain. Um, and to download this, you just go up here to the Downloads tab. Sorry if my computer is lagging at all, guys. It's because I'm recording and I got a ton of things open. And um, press Download Beta. And that's what I did. And it's got like all this information. So, yeah, guys, go ahead, donate to them. They've got a really, really nice program made here. Um, I can go installed plugins, I can like click on one. Um, I can delete them. I, I'm actually gonna. I can open up the plugins folder, and when I run the server, guys, you will see. You guys will see that it will actually. Um, our plugins will generate, and I thought that was really nice. If I like open this up and go plugins, you see it'll generate them. So, yeah, guys, I recommend you all use this. It's a lot easier than using, you know, the normal um, server console because it's got everything built into one. So, um, you can also update it from right here. But, yeah, guys, the link to this program will be in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this video. My name is Brickman609, and I bid you all a farewell. Thank you so much for watching, and I recommend you guys subscribe to me. I've got a lot of new videos coming out soon. See you guys later. Bye.